From claiming he manhandled Izzy during a sparring match, to the two fighters potentially facing off with UFC middleweight title on the line, here's how Drikas Duplessis claims he destroyed Israel Adesanya. Nine years ago, both fighters met in Thailand for a candid sparring session. And believe it or not, Du Plessis claims he dominated Adesanya in a grappling match. This exchange happened when Drikas was only 19 years old, and both of them went back and forth for two to three rounds of intense wrestling, with Du Plessis coming out on top each time. It was just the start of the South African fighter's professional MMA career, considering how he was only three fights in. So, for Still Knox to dominate an opponent like Israel, who is killing it in the kickboxing scene, so early in his career is huge. Plus, the champ himself agreed to losing the sparring match during an episode of the Impulsive podcast. Of course, there's a staggering difference between both of their stories. With the disagreement escalating so quickly, this beef has the potential to turn into a strong rivalry between the two. Of course, Drikas still needs to go through Robert Whittaker for his shot at the title. But after hearing how the South African manhandled the champ, this battle might happen regardless. After all, the UFC loves to capitalize on bad blood. No wonder both of them have always been so confrontational, ever since they crossed paths at the promotion. Everyone would love to see them square off, but who would have known they've already sparred? Adesanya's side of the story recounts the ending a little differently, though. You see, the last stylebender claims that Drikas was clearly the better grappler because he didn't really have enough skills to beat him back then. Izzy wasn't as experienced in MMA or Jiu-Jitsu since his main focus till then had always been kickboxing. And when you look at it that way, it makes sense why Drikas manhandled Adesanya. But here's the interesting bit. After the wrestling exchange, when the duo got to striking, Izzy claims he seriously messed Drikas up, showing him who's boss in the stand-up game. Du Plessis, on the other hand, claims Adesanya is lying since they never did any striking sessions. According to him, the sparring sessions were only for wrestling and grappling. The South African middleweight claims Izzy is just saving face, because the truth is the last stylebender knows how easy it is for Du Plessis to butcher him. But let's not kid ourselves here, people. This was nine years ago, and it's kind of shady how Drikas doesn't remember the one part of the story where he lost, because that just sounds really convenient for him. On the other hand, it didn't take him long to confirm Adesanya's claims about being outgrappled by him, because he somehow remembers that perfectly. Even if he did beat the last stylebender, bantamweight title contender Sugar Sean O'Malley thinks it'll make no difference. I get why Duplessis feels proud of himself, but this happened nine years ago. Besides, it's not like Izzy's still just a kickboxer, you know. He's made amazing progress in his grappling game over the past couple of years. I mean, you don't reign for years as a middleweight champion without being well-rounded enough to defend it. His first run as the division champion, he was so dominant that no one could get near him. O'Malley thinks Drikas is still stuck in the past, and the way he's talking about it makes it seem like that's his biggest achievement. While Izzy is confidently telling the entire world how he got out-wrestled by Duplessis, after all, he really doesn't need to prove he's a good fighter, since he already has countless times in the octagon. Meanwhile, Drikas is bragging to reporters like he just won gold at the Olympics. It just goes to show you how both of them have evolved as fighters. The Sugar Show backed up the champ, saying that the South Africans probably smoked too much devil's lettuce, thinking this encounter has any relevance at all if they meet inside the octagon. Even Alex Pereira thinks Duplessis is barking up the wrong tree, because if both of these guys end up battling it out inside the octagon, it's going to be nothing short of a massacre, since Duplessis' chances at beating the champion are very small. Before even fighting Adesanya, though, Drikas will have to go through Whitaker first, and there's a big chance he might lose. Since UFC President Dana White confirmed that the winner of the fight will get a title shot, it's pretty much etched in stone that if Drikas manages to pull off an upset, he'll be taking on Izzy. But if he loses, will the fans seriously have to watch Whitaker go up against Adesanya for the third time? Because, believe it or not, a lot of big MMA personalities think Drikas made the wrong move by entering this fight since a title fight was already guaranteed for him, simply because there's no better fight to make for Izzy. But because Dana decided to make him clash with the Reaper, it looks like he's in for a real challenge, since Robert is the last guy you'd want to fight. So, even though a lot of fighters claim he has everything it takes to cause an upset, 
this is going to be an extremely difficult matchup since there's so much riding on the line. If he just so happens to miss his mark, he'll have to climb up the middleweight rankings all over again to get another shot at the title. And there's absolutely no guarantee that Izzy will remain champion by then, so the whole rivalry will have lost its high stakes. Still Knox, on the other hand, doesn't really care about his beef with Adesanya. In an interview, a reporter asked Drikas who he wanted to fight, and he simply responded by saying, whoever has the title. Everyone assumed his rivalry with Izzy outweighed everything, and he just wanted to get his hands on him to finally put an end to the drama. But stylistically speaking, Whitaker is the easier fight for him to take, and that's mainly because he isn't as technical as Izzy. See? Duplessis thinks the Reaper is stronger, faster, and has good grappling skills. But since he doesn't rely a lot on technique, his matchups often end up turning into dogfights. And that's where the South African excels. He loves when an offensive fighter charges at him because he knows he can counter them. Even though he's relatively new to the UFC, he's got enough potential to become one of the deadliest strikers in the entire division, so I guess they call him Still Knocks for a reason. I mean, there's no doubt that the guy hits hard, but that's not going to cut it with the last style bender. Sure, he might not be as strong or as good of a wrestler, but you can never underestimate his superior striking. Some even believe he's the best striker in the UFC, and Duplessis knows just how dangerous he is. Still Knox needs to be careful of Izzy's long reach to steer clear of a knockout, because after watching him put an end to Pereira in his previous match at UFC 287, it's obvious he's packing an explosive punch. Besides, with how strategically Adesanya fights, Drikas might get caught up in a trap and get his lights knocked out before he has the time to defend himself. I mean, he's beaten an MMA legend like Anderson Silva, so Drikas doesn't stand a chance in an all-out striking match. After all, his fight IQ and stand-up game dominated the whole middleweight division for years. But if they face off with a middleweight title on the line, I think both of them have reasons to be nervous when entering the octagon together. Drikas definitely has the better ground game, but Izzy's deadly striking is just as big of a threat, if not bigger. All that counts after that is grit, determination, and experience. And while the South African is coming in hot with momentum on his side, Adesanya is comfortable in defending the title, since he's done it five times before as well. So it's hard to debate that he won't pull it off again. As for Duplessis, he's yet to experience a title fight at the UFC, and regardless of his skill and determination, the pressure of a championship bout can make even the strongest fighters crumble. Having said that, Israel has an edge over the South African if they end up fighting, which can only happen if Still Knox beats Whitaker at UFC 290. So, from the two fighters potentially facing off with UFC middleweight title on the line to claiming he manhandled Izzy during a sparring match. That was how Drikas Duplessis claimed he destroyed Israel Adesanya.